I guess I won't need these anymore. Or these. And I'll have to go back to this. Uh, I put up a post on Facebook a couple days ago about how, you know, we should just not have as many rules and regulations in the strongman. It makes it hard for people getting into the sport to know the differences between federations. And uh, it makes it hard to follow as a fan. And uh, I guess that's not going to matter. What did I put? Having the least rules possible, leave the real strength and overcomplicated rules to other strength sports. This is, can you pick up or move the thing or not? Doesn't matter how it's done. Now, I don't think that you should uh, be able to use a forklift in order to uh, lift an object, but where do we draw the line? And apparently up in Canada, one of the, their federations down there, I believe it's the Amateur Federation, uh, put up a post today, which just went a little, caused them a, a stir. Uh, apparently people that can't grip a barbell, can, you know, and they have to use figure eights, are able to type on their phones just fine with those uh, useless fingers of theirs. But they put up a post. Uh, basically, they took a Google image search uh, photo of figure eight straps. And let me see. And, you know, the, the thing I that bothers me the most about that photo is I don't see store.startingstrongman.com mentioned anywhere in it. Anyways, they said it's not allowed. And they put up a thing saying why. Apparently, they're, uh, they're not going to allow them in their competitions anymore. And uh, they say that they don't allow it in their pro shows or the Arnold Pro either, which is the, how you can move up in that federation, which makes sense. At least that's unified. You don't want to be able to use something as an amateur that you're not going to be able to use as a pro. So I agree with them on that. And they also uh, bring up some safety points. And so what happens in a figure eight is you kind of wrap it around the bar as such. Bar is here. And you go here. You know, you're able to you're able to hold it kind of a little bit more in your fingertips because it's putting the pressure on your wrist, right? So the pressure is more on your wrist, and uh, it, it, you're kind of locked in. So I have seen it where people pass out and they fall, and they're tied to the bar, and it's a little scary. The you know, so we got to go back to using these are the only. Remember when this is all you saw at strongman competitions? I guess. I gotta go find my other one. I could only find one in my garage of my original Iron Mind blue straps. Which, if you didn't use these back in the day, you, did you even do strongman? Um, but, you know, and they say you can fall forward, and that's true. I've seen some, uh, that, you know, that happen and it'd be uh, dangerous, but safety concerns, strongman? Eh, I don't buy that one. I think it's a different issue, and I, I think. Disallowing figure eights is uh, something I disagree with personally, and that's my opinion. Um, but if you properly put on a good normal strap, which puts you know the pressure still in your hand because you got to tie it around the bar as such and hold it, so you know it still requires some grip strength. But how much grip strength are we going to allow? It's kind of weird. But if you're really tied to it and you actually pass out. Uh, you still can be tied to the bar. Uh, so the safety aspect, that's a bunch of bullshit. In my opinion, if we're going to go for safety, then that's a whole other conversation. But uh, I think it's just, it's a weird thing, and uh, everything is always political. And uh, there was this little fraction that happened between uh, World's Strongest Man and the Arnold Classic uh, a couple years ago. What what year was it that it was the last year that Eddie Hall went? And if you remember, uh, Colin Bryce was uh, up on the main stage uh, announcing, and he did a great job. And then you know it looked like, hey, we we're having this like little merger of Giants Live and the Arnolds, and we're all gonna be one big happy family. And it didn't happen. There was some sort of split there. Uh, and then when, you know, the 
main manufacturer at the time of figure eight straps was Giants Pro, kind of a sub company in a way of Giants Live. Um, then the other, and they're now like direct competitors with uh, other uh, series like the Arnold and other you know federations that aligned more with the Arnold than that side. All of a sudden, giant uh, figure eight straps are dangerous. Okay. Hmm. And uh, we've seen other instances where you know when it's a uh, you know a federation or a sanctioning body or however you want to call it. Is making pretty much making their own equipment. It got banned uh, from the SCL, which kind of makes sense. Uh, but if you're going to do that, you know, CrossFit, the CrossFit Games does that. And, you know, you can only wear Reebok at the CrossFit Games, but they also give you a ton of Reebok gear. So that's how it should be. Uh, I, I know back in the day at Worlds, I think they used to just hand everyone those blue Iron Mind straps, and that's what you had to use. That's fair at that level. For an amateur athlete to be like, they barely, they don't even know how to use figure eight straps correctly a lot of the time. Um, yeah, you want to pull it to the side and put the bar over. Uh, you know, it, it makes it really confusing on are these straps allowed? Are they not? They don't know the difference between this federation and that. They're like, well, at this rule, you know, at this one, I was able to, you know, weigh this much. It just makes it so confusing. And when you're in the inside of the sport and you know you're inside of it and uh, it, it's your whole world you know and you you don't look at it as like someone coming into it, it it all makes sense but we're just making it confusing and making us more insulated with the more rules we have uh, I think one of the other reasons you know other than political reasons why uh, you know you're seeing more federations not allow uh, figure eight straps is you know people cite that, you know, I even got a, a message saying, uh, citing that they should be banned because it allows you to lift more weight. Okay, if we're going to go through that route again, then, you know, that's a whole other rabbit hole. Shouldn't be able to use a deadlift suit. Let's outlaw tacky. Let's get rid of chalk. I mean, shoes. Uh, you know, where did those even come from? Those can be an unfair advantage. Rock climbing shoes allow you to pull bigger trucks. Um, you know, belts, dual ply, you know, dual ply sleeves, everything, safety. You know, allowing you to lift more weight. That's an advantage that you don't even have to grip the bar. Okay. Um, then we shouldn't allow straps at all because those you have to grip the bar a little bit, but I wouldn't say grip ends up being the limiting factor. My point is, I, I really think uh, to in order for the sport to grow, we need to have some sort of unified rules on equipment and uh, you know guidelines on how to do the lifts. Maybe a rule book somewhere by some federation would be nice. Uh, and it should be from the top down, should be the same rules the whole way. So if World's Strongest Man has all these same rules, and this is, you know, from the amateur up on how you want to go. You know, th th it should be from every level, should be the same rules all the way up. So you're prepared for where you want to be inevitably. Well, not inevitably, because you're probably not going to get to World's Strongest Man. That's a very small percentage. Um, but you should have the same rules. And, you know, if, uh, you know, like, let's say if, if your federation is like, we just uh, qualify for, you know, the Arnold Pro is like the... And the, that series is the creme de la creme and the highest point in this that we can do. And they don't allow figure eights. Uh, regardless of the reasoning, you know, it could just be they just don't like them. Simple as that. Then, uh, you know, it should be that same way the whole way down. So in that instance, good on you. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and burn these. You can't even get these anymore anyways. Giants probably don't make them. Uh, you know, so what do you think? Should figure eights be allowed? Uh, is Eddie Hall's deadlift a farce because he did it? He did the 500 kilos in figure eights. Is Hafler Bjornsson's Arnold deadlift the heaviest deadlift of all time because he was using real straps and was actually holding onto the bar? Uh, you let me know. Let me know in the comments your thoughts.
and you know that's some opinions and uh, I'm Kale Beck and if you do want to buy a pair of figure eights or if you already have bought a pair of figure eights and they are now not viable for you to use in a contest and you had to burn them you can pick up regular straps and figure eight straps at store.startingstrongman.com. 